welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to make chrome alum chrome alum means it is a, a combination of two salt that is chromium sulfate and potassium sulfate and to make this nice compound we need three chemicals those are potassium dichromate ethanol and concentrate sulfuric acid Okay, to start the reaction, I have taken 9.8 grams of potassium dichromate. Now we need to dissolve this potassium dichromate in 40 milliliters of water. So now I'm going to add 40 milliliters of distilled water here. And I'm going to start the stirring. Now you can see here the potassium dichromate is dissolving in distilled water. Now I am going to add about 7.6 milliliters of concentrated sulfuric acid into this mixture. Remember, addition of this concentrated sulfuric acid generates a lot of heat. So we need to add very carefully and the temperature increasing helps to dissolve potassium dichromate quickly. After adding sulfuric acid, the temperature of the solution is increased. Now we need to keep the solution until the solution reaches to room temperature. Now we need to add 6.3 ml of ethanol and we cannot add this ethanol once because it will produce heat and operate our ethanol. So we need to add this ethanol dropwise and you can see a color change when I add the ethanol. When the reaction is taking place, we have acidic potassium dichromate and ethanol in the reaction mixture. Acidic potassium dichromate is a strong oxidizer. So we add ethanol, acidic potassium dichromate oxidizes the ethanol. So we can have chromium sulfate and potassium sulfate in the mixture. That is why our solution is green in color. So, in this solution, now we have potassium sulfate and chromium sulfate. This green color is due to chromium 3 plus ion. So now we need to slowly crystallize the, our product. For that, I am going to transfer this solution into a evaporating dish and keep that evaporating dish in a warm and dry area. Uh, I am going to keep it about 2 weeks. Then after 2 weeks, let's see our chrome alum crystals. After 15 days, our solution looks like this and I can clearly see some uh, large crystals are formed and now we need to filter this crystal. After filtering the product, now you can see here our final product chrome alum it is a nice purple in color uh, purple color crystals and we can grow larger crystal from these uh, chrome alum crystals i will do a separate video about uh, chrome alum crystal growing